This is about a small town, a suburban town, uh, who is very much um, without a lot of color or life going on there, ruled by a, a, a female mayor who's kind of with an iron, you know, iron stick or what have you. Um, and a young guy comes to town who uh, is uh, basically aroused about and shakes things up and brings a lot of life and color to the town um, and shakes up people's emotions to such a point where um, you know, they're really rediscovering themselves. So it becomes this kind of almost farce-like um, frenzy of mistaken identities and um, love triangles and all sorts of uh, fun that he kind of kind of ignites in this in this small town. There's a couple of nice poignant moments, uh, not too mushy, not too hit you over the head, uh, but just enough along the way that you actually are emotionally invested in these characters so that it's not as if you're just watching, you know, um, some romp sitcom, you know. One of the things that we're trying to do is make this world really kind of driven by the actors. So in this heightened sense, this kind of, you know, um, a suburban town, USA, you know, leaving it in that kind of nebulous place where the the town, um, each each location um, that the show moves to um, is some is somewhat actor manipulated. They create the space with the pieces that we have. There are a lot of themes of of um, acceptance and uh, racial equality in this as well, which I think are you know is great and always poignant. Um, and, and, and relative to today, um, but there's a young couple, um, uh, you know, that are kind of a Romeo and Juliet of sorts, you know, in love against their parents' wishes, um, and there's a, there is a, a, a racial boundary that's crossed there. Um, and what's really, uh, one of the things I love about that story um, in this show is that they don't care, you know, they're just so in love and everyone else is just kind of spinning out of control around them um, and there's a great song in the second act that it really is about um, peace and understanding and acceptance. Um, this fantastic anthem that Elvis actually wrote, it's a great introduction to theater because um, I you know, will go out on a limb and say that it would be something that would be enticing to the younger generation, something that then they would be curious about coming back to and seeing more theater in the future and I think that for that reason alone, it makes a great introduction, a great family experience. You ain't nothing but a house. Just one.